How is Saigon in 2023? This video will definitely show you. Right now it's about 2.30 p.m. So the first place we're gonna go is somewhere for lunch here in District 1 of Ho Chi Minh City. And ideally I'm craving Pho or Bum Ba Hue, something like that. But uh, we're gonna walk around here and see what we could find to eat. One thing that I love about Saigon is that no matter what time of the day you're out here, it is always hustling and bustling with motorbikes, with people everywhere. The shops are open. It's just very lively. It's a fun big city to be at. Have a bumbo hue. I don't have a bumbo hue. Yeah, right? Yeah, I just have a okay. pho. Okay, yeah, so I'll do uh, one pho Yeah. And uh, one of your, this looks interesting, the pomegranate and carrot soda. Yeah. It's good, huh? Uh, actually, I like other joker. People order it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. I get one of that as well. Yeah, thank you okay, very much. Uh, they didn't have bumbo hue, but they have pho bo, which is uh, beef uh, pho. You really can't go wrong with pho in Vietnam. Always good. That came out to about 150,000 uh, VND, which is roughly $6. Now that was more on the higher end of things. It was a nice cafe restaurant, a sit down place. A lot of people were hanging out there doing some work, but uh, you could definitely get pho in Saigon for like one third of the price, but that was really nice. So now we're gonna head over to another place that I really like here for a special Vietnamese coffee. at Kong Cafe here in Vincom Center, which is one of the shopping malls here in District 1. And Kong Cafe is one of the many branches, kind of like Starbucks or Highland Coffee here in Saigon. But it's one that Rosie and I came to back in 2018. And we really, really like their coconut coffee here, which is one of their specialties. Coconut coffee in Vietnam is quite special because they use coffee beans native to Vietnam and it's often made using traditional techniques. And also the texture of coconut coffee is, is kind of like, reminds me a little bit of like an ice cream. It's very delicious. And they also use the sweetened condensed milk along with the Vietnamese coffee. And it's a very nice mix. When you are in Saigon or Vietnam, definitely try the coconut coffee here. It's really good. Saigon in 2023 wherever we're going it's packed with people this is just a Monday afternoon this is not even the weekend and as you can see people are everywhere hanging out very very lively Saigon is where Rosie and I first met and it's also one of the places that is like a second home to us so we've been here quite often, especially since 2018. So back in 2018, Vincom Center, which is this mall here, was pretty much the main shopping mall, one of the only shopping malls really that people would come to. And now there's actually several different ones here. And with every passing year that we come back to Saigon, it reminds me more and more of a resemblance to Bangkok. So it's not quite there yet, but with every year, I feel more and more like a Bangkok vibe here. So it's definitely a city that is growing and it's getting more and more modern. With a lot of really cool things to do here. It's definitely becoming one of our favorite big cities in the area. Now we are at the center of District 1 in Saigon. And this area is called the Win Hue Street, also known as the Walking Street. Sometimes when the Vietnam football team is playing, they actually show it on the screen here and it's filled with people representing Vietnam and cheering for Vietnam. So it's definitely a very, very awesome place to come to. We got the fountain, we got the beautiful view of the governmental building here, which lights up at night. And this area, daytime or nighttime, is always packed with people hanging out, families, kids on the skateboard. It's a very, very lively place. When you are in Saigon, I highly recommend coming to the walking street in District 1, especially towards the evening and on weekends, because it's very, very lively and you get to see the locals as well as the tourists here just hanging out and having a good time. Definitely one of the nicer areas of District 1. You know, what I really love about Saigon is that it's a great mix of modern as well as history because you have all of these buildings that are quite dated 30 40 50 years old 
some go back to during the war times, but then you have all of these really modern buildings, skyscrapers, some street that literally looks like you're in Singapore or in Europe, but then you go on the side alleyways and you see the kind of the, reminds you of like how it would have looked like 30 or 40 years ago here in Vietnam. This kind of mix gives Saigon its own character, you know, it definitely is one of those places that has a character to it that you enjoy seeing and you enjoy coming back to. Hello. How are you? Good. All right, landmark, right? Made it to one of the newer buildings here in Saigon, which is called the Landmark. The Landmark is a mix of shopping malls, uh, it is also apartments as well as business uh, complexes. So it's like a mix of different things, and the shopping mall is quite nice. It has an ice rink and you know, cinema, so it's a really, a really nice mall as well. But we're gonna go to the top floor, and there is an area where you could view the whole city. So now let's walk over and see where the area is to go up to the top. It's actually called the sky view. So let's go see where the sky view is. There it is, Landmark 81 sky view. So now we're gonna go up to the 79th floor. So it looks like there is three levels here that we could access. 79th is where we're gonna get the welcome drink, 80th I guess maybe is a viewpoint, and then 81st is a VR experience. So this is all included with the 540,000 Vietnam Dong ticket that I paid for. So let's go up and see how it is. Kind of uh, quiet here, but maybe it's different up there. Let's go to the 79th first. Yeah, I remember before this building was built, back in like 2018, Biteco, which then as a building, was like kind of the building of Saigon. But now with this one, with the landmark being built, oh, my ear actually popped because we're going up there. But yeah, now this is the building of Saigon. So when you look at the pictures or videos uh, representing Saigon, Usually uh, the landmark is what you see and it's visible from all over the city. You see this beautiful building, so. All right, we're up there. Oh, my, my ear kind of popped. And let's go here and see what's going on. Oh, look at the view here. The rain is definitely here, so a lot of that area you cannot see, but you can see how high we are up right now. And the view is absolutely amazing. And the bottom here, we got the Saigon River. Where do I go for the welcome drink? Hello. This is where we get the welcome drink. Okay. Here is where we're gonna get the welcome. We got soft drinks, fresh juice, Sprite. Can I get the watermelon juice? Watermelon juice. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. You know, what's impressive is just seeing the amount of development that is happening all over Saigon. That you see all of these building complexes that are being built everywhere. Okay, thank you very much. Come on. When we scream out, the weight is gone. The truth is kept out of you. The storm to be is coming soon. And it's not waiting for you. So today is actually not the most ideal day to come up here because uh, it just started raining as I got here, so it's, uh, there's a lot of like clouds and uh, fog everywhere. A lot of the city actually you cannot really see, but it still looks incredible. All right, so now that we had the welcome drink, we're gonna head over to the 80th floor and see what is going on there. So we got two floors to go. A nicer views here. Now let's walk up over to the final floor, the 81st floor, and we'll see it. Beautiful views of Saigon, even on a evening like today. Hello. This is a VR experience? Yes, VR game. Okay. Hey, take your ticket. You Thank wanna you. play now or later? I have to do it now. Okay. Let's yeah. take off that. Yeah. All right guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video, this little tour of, uh, of Saigon. Now in the past we've done 
a lot more videos that are like travel guides and those kinds of things. But this year we want to do a lot more of this like a day in my life, a day out in the city. And uh, to really show you uh, kind of the, the lifestyle, uh, the pursuit of uh, the life of freedom in different countries and how it is living in different parts of the world. Because that's kind of the lifestyle that we're pursuing is less of uh, traveling for vacation and more of like living in different parts of the world so that's what they really want to kind of showcase in this channel so if you enjoy these kinds of videos let us know in the comments and definitely subscribe to the channel and we cannot wait to see you in the next one cheers